Thank you, Ian. Today's meeting is a joint meeting between the Sun and the Higher Education Group of the Institute of Physics. Um, I'm on the committee of the Higher Education Group, so I thought it would be nice just to give a little bit of publicity about what the Higher Education Group does. Um, we have various strands to what we do. The, the, it can be sort of broken down into these three main areas. Uh, one of the things that we like to do is to encourage one-day meetings like this one that are of interest to physics educators, and we take physics to be quite a broad spectrum. Um, clearly, you know, there are links between uh, physics, engineering, and the, the space sector, which are very um, obvious to, to all of you in the room. Um, just because we're in the Institute of Physics doesn't mean we have to um, think very closely about what, what physics actually is. We like to think about how do we use physics uh, in curricula that uh, we're teaching at higher education level. One of the other things that we like to do is to promote educational research in physics, and that really means taking a scholarly approach to teaching practice, really getting people to reflect on what they've done um, embed it in, in what people are doing uh, uh, elsewhere, referencing to uh, the educational literature. And the final thing that we do is to try to support teaching-focused academics in physics, in particular just because that's an area where staff can quite often feel quite unsupported, and there are networks for such staff um, within the Institute of Physics, and we like to support them through our work as well. So, just to give you an idea of the kind of one-day meetings that, that the Higher Education Group have run recently, you can see they're quite a broad spectrum of things. So, for instance, in Dublin, uh, we ran something that was quite broad about methods of research in science education, uh, really to help people who are interested in understanding how to get into um, uh, taking a more scholarly approach to uh, 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 teaching practice uh, get started. We had a session jointly with the Royal Society about uh, using visualisations in, in teaching. Um, that was run in April. And then there's uh, one coming up uh, next week, I think, uh, about the skills gap in, in physics education, the skills that we should be focusing on teaching physics graduates um, uh, at undergraduate level. And I should say that... Uh, if you're a member of the Higher Education Group of the Institute of Physics, you can apply for funding for, uh, uh, for meetings like this one. So the, the group will fund up to £500 to support a meeting like this and give use of facilities like this facility here uh, in, in this building. That's, that's come part of the package of, of the kind of things that we try to support. So if you have things that you would like to do, if you're a member of the Institute of Physics, I'd encourage you to join the HE group uh, and if you've got good ideas about things that you'd like to see taken forward, uh, put in a proposal and uh, um, we'd like to help anything that looks like it's benefiting, benefiting the physics education community. One of the other things we do is to promote educational research in physics. Um, and the way we do that is to have things like uh, community meetings. We have our committee meetings dotted around the country. Uh, when we do that, we try to build in an afternoon meeting where people local to uh, where we're meeting can just come and talk about any interesting teaching that they're doing, anything that they've found that's interesting, uh, and share that with a group of like-minded people. Uh, we support this rather peculiarly named conference called VICE. FEC, VICE is Variety and Chemistry Education, and FEC is the... Uh, Physics Higher Education Conference, that's an annual conference that's run every year, and the Higher Education Group has supported that in various ways over, over the years and continues to do so. And one of the things that we're planning to do is to um, produce web resources to help staff who are new to educational re research, because we recognise that people who have come from a very kind of hard physical science background often find it very difficult to make that transition into the more soft side of social science type research that you need for educational research. So we really want to just help people ease their way into that. And I should just sort of point out that this sort of term physics education research uh, can sound a bit scary and exclusive, but actually it covers many, many areas. When you start reading the literature and when you start talking to people who are in physics education research, we're interested in lots of things. We're interested, obviously, in pedagogy, the approaches people take. We're very interested in inclusivity. 
and making sure that we're not inadvertently excluding people from the pro programs that we design. We're very interested in skills development, we're interested in careers that our graduates go on to do. And the final thing to say is that you know, we're also interested in novel approaches in teaching that are done in a physics setting. So it doesn't actually have to be about physics teaching, it can be about new teaching, but done in a physical science type background. So that's pretty much all I want to say. Just say that if you want to follow the higher education group, we've got a Twitter uh, uh, handle there. If you're a member of the IOP, I'd encourage you to, to join. Um, we have, we've just started up our newsletters, we have uh, regular emails. If you're really in keen, you might want to come on the committee. There's a vacancy currently uh, uh, available, closing on the 23rd of July. And the key contacts for the group are the chair, who's uh, Nicholas uh, Lebros at Glasgow, uh, Helen Heath at Bristol, and uh, Tom Stollard at Leicester. Uh, so that's just an overview of what the Higher Education Group does, and I uh, hope you have a good day. Thank <laughs> you.